So in this video, I'm going to show you how to recolor a feature. This could be something as simple as a background, uh, a feature on a person, or uh, anything really. So on this one, I'm choosing to do hair because there's a little bit more texture in the hair. So I found this photo of some straight hair just to show you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pathway select tool on this. and Again, for my sake of this video, I'm going to go a little bit quicker if I was doing this for my own project or for something in personal use, I would really zoom in and uh, take advantage of this. But I'm going to do this really quickly. And what you're noticing is what I'm selecting is, is the path of what I want to recolor. So if I did something like the eyeball, Obviously, I would zoom in a little bit more and do something smaller. Now, to close out my pathway, I'm going to hold down my control button and then left click on my starting point. Now, I can move any of these out there to kind of fine tune. Uh, so instead of that earlier select tool that we used, uh, which was the free select, now I can kind of maneuver these by clicking and dragging on them. Now, once I have my pathway, I'm going to come up to my select and I'm going to choose my select from path. Now we get that nice running line around it. Before I can color it, what I need to do is I need to come here and take the color out of it and I'm going to desaturate this. So I'm basically put this in my grayscale now. I'm going to come over to my layers. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to right click and create my new layer. I want to make sure that this layer is a transparent layer. Uh, once I've done that, I again, you can see I can hide my layer here or have it over the top. And I'm just going to come over to my paintbrush and I can choose a color. I'm going to go with a nice lime green on this one. And I'm going to paint this. Now this doesn't seem the most natural, as you can see. Uh, but it is going to do what I want it to do. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select none now to get rid of that running line and then I'm going to come on this layer here again I'm on the top layer I'm going to come to my mode and I want to change this to an overlay so you can kind of see where I hit the hair where I didn't but what you're going to notice is I have that texture behind it so I've taken the color out and with that overlay mode I've textured it now I'm going to control Z a few times and you can see I have my paint tool here. I could have used my bucket fill as well with my color to done and do in one uh, stroke. You're going to also notice if I control Z, I have my airbrush tool. And if I airbrush, you're going to notice that I can get a little bit difference of a coverage in terms of saturation. I could also come and change my other colors kind of do an airbrush over this again and kind of have some fun with it and I again would come up here to select none I would change my mode should be already on an overlay and change it to an overlay and we can see how we get that uh, different texturing with the uh, airbrush tool now again the same process it would be is if I zoomed in and want to do something a little bit more subtle, like the eye itself, I could do my free select. And again, I'm going to go quick. And again, I'm going to hold down control, hit that point. I'm going to go select from path. And then I would desaturate this. I'll come up here, go to my colors. I would desaturate. Now I can go back to that original top layer now. Again, I can hide that. I can see that area is. I'm just going to grab blue here. I'm going to do a quick bucket fill and come back here. I'm going to say select none. And now if I zoom out to 100%, you can see I've changed that eye color there in a little bit more of a subtle way. So again, anything that you'd like to uh, color or take the color out of, this doesn't tend to work very well with uh, extremely dark colors with no texture underneath, but it is something that you can experiment with 